What is up, everybody? We are back with part two, and we are opening only one box today, so we just finished opening part one, and I wanted to open box number two. But box one, massive success. We already made back a nice chunk of change. That McDavid goes from anywhere from 60 to 80, considering the case cost 400. There's a chance that could also be the case hit of the box, and we opened it already on, you know, the first hobby box, which would be really funny, but wouldn't complain because at least i know i got one card in this box that's worth a nice amount of money or in this case excuse me but can't claim that start and that is only one of hopefully many good cards i think there's hot boxes in here and super hot boxes i don't know if they're real i was watching someone else open a case talking about them i've never seen one before they probably are real but I don't know. Let's hope to get one of those as well. I think we're like almost every card, every pack has a numbered uh, parallel. So like last time, starting from the left, you know what the price is. I'm assuming we're around 70 to 80, $80 of making a profit off this case from how good box one was. I don't think the Zegerses will pull too much value of the ones we pulled there, but I do think the, oh, we got a relic pack number one. I do think the Aho and the McDavid we did get will pull some weight. So we have Noah Dobbs in here. Good start. One of my favorite players. Goalies is Vigmelka. No, Spencer Knight. That's a nice one. He just got called up for the first time since last year with Florida. We'll see if he plays. I doubt it, obviously, unless Bobrovsky goes down. But even then, still going to be a long shot for him with Anthony Stolar is killing it. We have a trophy winners here. This is one of the manufactured relics. We'll put it behind these cards so we got skinner dougie Corey perry and who do we got uh president's trophy i don't know how rare that is compared to the other ones and it's evgeny kuznetsov a guy i don't want to talk too much about right now glad to see he's okay glad to see him doing well in the league just not against my highlanders you get a few per case but i feel like it's, they're definitely not one in 960 packs i guess it would be until you pull another one by their odds, technically, so fair enough. But yeah, the relic cards, even though they have a nice, you know, wow, one out on almost a thousand packs, they don't do very well value wise. This one, maybe Kuznetsov, Capital fans still love them, who knows, but I don't think so. Probably like a $10 card tops. Moving on Duclair, Kurashev, Brendan Tanev, and if you didn't see uh, another marquee rookie, Cole Lind. If you didn't see um, episode one, I definitely recommend you check that out. Because the best cards I get in this set, as long as they aren't damaged, I will be grading. Probably the top ten. And that will be another video. Kyle Connor playing card. So that will be really fun. I'm very excited to do that. Crosby Kachuk to end the pack there. Just to add um, potential more value and or potential more loss, depending how the grades come back. So I think in the cave that I am going to grade... I don't think I'm going to put it up on eBay right away. It'd be funny if I did, though, but I won't. Nick Foligno. Troy Terry. Checklist. So there's that to look forward to as well as long as, you know, as well as opening an entire case of hockey cards here. Wade Allison. I like his game a lot. Andrew Mangiapane. Bo Horvat. Now a New York Islander. Carrier. Bo, Bo for Bo, Cal Pedersen, and Mike Smith. So let me put um, the relic on the side. Let me sleeve it up as well. It is, you know what? It's a nice card. I don't really like the relics too much. They don't do too much for me. I'd prefer, you know, maybe two hits or like more OPG platinum preview cards rather than them. But I get it. They gotta, they gotta fill out the product somehow. I'm also opening the cards out of order. I said I was gonna only gonna do the left side. I've picked one from each top. I said that last episode. I was gonna do it side by side. Lars Eller, Anze Kopitar, Team Checklist Penguins, Flyers Retro, Travis Sanheim. Bang, uh, if you could come in, that'd be nice. <laughs> Rookie update, Ty Smith. Not a good one there. Gensel, Grice, Marcheseau and Gallagher. Yeah, it is kind of funny looking back on some of these cards. Like, you can see the fall off of some of these guys. Like, Ty Smith 
I know he's not a rookie card in here. He's only a rookie update for the Tall Boys and the rookie season review, I believe it's called. But, like, you know, he had a really good rookie year with the Devils. Then he got traded to Pittsburgh for John Marino after kind of being subpar. I don't know why my hands are dirty. It's weird. Uh, Brayden Holtby. But it is funny to look back on some of these guys and see how their careers have went so far. Um... Was that the guy with two V names? Yeah, Venny Vilvilainen. Vel 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 okay. Two may play for goalies, and one of them haunts me, and Freddie Anderson, now a Hurricane. Blue, Sam Bennett. And tall boy of Mark Andre Fleury. Carlson, Myers, Lawton, Lawton, and Hey Josh Bailey. Yes, I will mention every time there is a Carolina Hurricane card, because I'm not over losing yet even though we are not that great of a hockey team. We deserve to win the Stanley Cup, says every fan base ever. Um, Michael Delzato, Donato, Ryan Miller. Oh, what's in front of him? Team checklist. We have the Lightning. AM, Austin Matthews director, that's nice. Not grading nice, but it's a nice card. We have another black, no we don't. Thank Thankfully we don't, Aiden Hill. I mean, you know what? Aiden Hill isn't a bad name by any means. He's actually a pretty solid name. But I'd rather not get a black and white Aiden Hill card. I'd rather save my variations for another McDavid or another Crosby. Not that I think we'll get another black and white variation. But you never know. We can. I do like the warm-up variations a lot as well. Capitals, Mantha. Char. Big Z. Hampus Lindholm. Joel Edmondson. Nolachari, Klingberg, Markstrom, Duncan Keith. So far, nothing too crazy, but it's a $30 box. So you're kind of just looking for the hits here. I will appreciate some nice inserts of some New York Islanders and players I collect, though, which is why I do really like this product. Because it's cheap, and I get cards of guys I like. That is a guy I don't like. Well, I don't dislike him. I just don't really have an opinion on him. Garrett Pilon, Marquee Rookie. Blues, Jordan, Cairo, Retro, Tall Boy, Patty Kane, Landis Gog, Sezins, Duchesne, Tarasenko, and we have one pack left on the first side. I mean, maybe we have $15, $15 back so far. I might even be generous. Panthers checklist, Connor Ingram. Blue. We still haven't hit any nice blues yet. Or any, like, rookie blues. Pelic. On to the middle stack. Let's get some nice numbered cards. Let's get some Let's get some platinum previews. Oh, we already got a hit, technically, so who knows if we... But you can get more than one hit. It's, it's happened before. Finally... Wait, is that... Okay. I don't know if that was a platinum card or not. Jacob Bernard Docker... Quinn Hughes retro, that's nice. Not a rookie, but this is out of 50. Is that Bo? Not Bo. That's actually really nice. Jamie Ben out of 50. Now, don't get me wrong. You're going to say, Jamie Ben, why are you so pumped about that? That color match is insane. Let's leave that up. That might be a grading candidate, just on the coloring alone. It's, a, it's not an expensive card. It's probably like a 5 or $10 card, tops. But, ironic saying tops, talking about trading cards. But I just love the color match on that. You know, the green on the green. Jamie Benn, uh, 8 out of 50. Jersey number would have been nice, obviously, but cannot complain. That's uh, that's a solid name. So, one numbered card down. One to go. See if we have anything else special here. Possible. So far, I'm pretty happy with the box. At least, you know, we're getting some enjoyable cards here. Lindholm, League Leaders, McDavid. Can't get away from this guy, nor do I want to. Devils, Nico. No, Sharon Govich. What a year for this guy, Igor Sharon Govich. Glad to see. That's a nice one. Might be a buck or two. Ace, Austin Matthews. Those are the second rarest to the Jokers. And that's nice. That's another very nice card in this box. I think we have three 
three cards I'm pretty ecstatic with. We haven't hit too many good rookie cards, but that's fine. They'll come over time. We hit, we already got a nice Zegris, and we got a, two nice Zegrises, excuse me. And we have a Swayman. Igor. Yep, that guy. Red, not a Rook. Rupe Hints, do like me some Rupe Hints. Batherson, Yossi. Yeah, base. A lot of base, but that's the point of a PG. It's a base building set. Collecting base building set. Which is good. You gotta have some low-end products. Okay. What do we have here? Blake Como. Brock Besser. What a season for this guy. Marquee Rookie. Is this a... His, his initials are BP, right? No, Ivan... Chekovic, 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 Johansson, no, Yarncroak, okay, Jack Eichel, Tallboy, Yandel, Hint, Nick Gillis, and we have one pack left from the middle stack, so let me take the right stack out as well, not that there's too many packs in there, because we opened this one weirdly. Blue in here, Brendan Saad, Brock Nelson. Season highlights, Sidney Crosby. That's cool. They have the Crosby journey jerseys, excuse me, on the back behind them for, I think this was, yeah, no, it says here, places 1,000th NHL game. So that's cool. They all wore Crosby warm-up jerseys for him. Gavrikov. Blue League leaders. This could be very nice. Let's see what the achievement, ah, uh, Nadelkovic. Good year for him, but... You see a league leaders, and it's like, oh, could be, you know, McDavid, could be a Crosby, could be anyone. And Alex Nadelkovic is not the league leader you want to see. Unfortunately. Uh, sorry, Ned, if you're watching this, but I highly doubt it. Alex Tuck. Charlie Cole Retro. Blue. Malcolm Subban. Bergeron. Yeah, that's about it. Three packs to go. Not the most exciting box, but solid. Definitely don't think it'll be the worst one. And if it is, I'm pretty happy with that then. Uh, this, no, it's not. I will take that. That's a nice one. Season, rookie season review, Kirill Kaprizov. I don't know if this is a, a bigger card or not. I don't know if it's like a $2 card or a $5 card. Don't think it's a crazy card. Zaitsev, Barkov. Hey, Connor. But, um... Either way, it's still a nice card of one of my uh, favorite players in the league. We have two packs left. I'm hoping we get another numbered card. We really should. I know we did get three in the first one. Oh, here we go. We'll save this one for last. I'll be that guy. We did get another retro. And let's see what we have in this box. Or this pack. Huh? I don't know what we have here. I said it might be nothing too, so. Hoglander, Hola, Team Checklist, the Blue Jackets, everyone's rookie. Alright, Spencer Knight, tall boy, solid, but then the better pile. So, wasn't anything too crazy in there, but we'll take it. And we have a card out of 100 here, a retro. Team Checklist, Red Wings, Caps, Backstrom. Canadians. Suzuki, Carey Price would be a very nice one. That's a solid name. Shea Weber. I don't know, value-wise, it might be a few dollar card, but Shea Weber is a really good name to get. At least in my opinion. I won't complain about getting a numbered Shea Weber card. One of the better defensemen of the early, uh, one of the best defensemen of the 2010s, 2000s, since the end of the league. All right, that's box number two. So that ends off with a pretty nice bang. This box, we got the Tallboy, Spencer Knight, Rookie Season Review, Kaprizov, Ace Matthews, Jamie Ben out of 50, very nice card, grading candidate, Kuznetsov, Trophy Winners, and another grading candidate, possibly in the Shea Weber. So this is part two out of 16. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one.